Hey guys, welcome back to another speed build. And today I'll be doing a voiceover over the building of the speed build, if that makes any sense. I know most people do this with their speed build, so I decided to give it a try. By the way, I wrote a script for the voiceover, so that's what I'm reading off of. P.S. Sorry for not streaming in a while. It's my birthday, and now I'm going on a trip to see family. So most likely, no streams, almost no streams in July. Sorry, but you do have this, and I'm really hard on it. It took me like a week, I think, right? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this build is a uh, Foxbury Institute dorm. At first, I thought it was Brightchester, so that's why you'll see me building in green for a bit. I went for the, this layout because I wanted to make it modern and challenge myself. I think I'll make all Foxbury buildings in like a modern kind of style and make all Brightchester buildings in a more vintage slash Victorian style. The outside area will be a hangout area for students to, well, you know, hang out at. Um, and the rooms will have two beds each with decorative materials relating to each person's personality. But I decided to have one room to be a laundry room, so you'll see that later on. One of the bathroom areas will be unisex for toilets, and the other one will have gendered showers. The showers are practically identical, just thought that people wouldn't want to walk in on the by the opposite sex. And then I put a couch in the hallway to spice it up a bit. Alright, this is, um, so, you know, let's start room number one. I don't know, I was gonna say uno. Wait, oh yeah, numero uno. Yeah, I don't know Spanish. Okay. <laughs> This was when I realized that I was building in Foxbury, not Brightchester, and changed the colors to match that. After that, I started building the first room in the dorm, obviously. Um, I decided to make a girl's room with them both majoring in fashion or some type of beauty career, like makeup or something else. <laughs> I tried to add bedside tables and realized that they looked really ugly, and then I decided to add a white desk with um, a red chair to stick with the current red theme. I noticed that I forgot doors and quickly added those. I put down a bookshelf and placed some houseplants on the empty shelves. I thought the walls looked a bit boring and added the same painting over above each of the two beds. I tried a few rugs and I found like this one that kind of reminds me of like a, the like the one from Aladdin, you know, like the, like the genie rug thing, the flying carpet. Yeah, like that. Um, honestly, this is my favorite um, room in the entire dormitory. We all get kind of progressively worse as time goes on. Okay, so moving on to room number uh, do, do I forgot two? I just, I don't know Spanish, like I said. Two. I moved on to the next room. This room has a island living theme and I imagined it would house a Hawaiian man or anybody like Pacific Islander man that wanted to be a chef and a woman who wanted to be a painter. I think I can really into depth to exactly who I want to live in this dorm right now. It's kind of random. I forgot to add a computer in this previous room and added it. I put down a island living white desk with a matching chair and placed a laptop on top of it. <laughs> Why did I say pun not intended? <laughs> I guess that's not a pun, but okay, whatever. Okay, I put a cherry blossom painting in front of it, in front of the desk. I also added decorations and personality to the previous room. I added a makeup palette, some keys, a pile of bills slash letters, some shoes next to the other bed, nail polish, and a fashion magazine. In the island living room, I put some cookbooks on the desk, some canvas on the ground next to the door, coat rack that was also next to the door. Okay, room number three. I started to work on the next room. <laughs> I made this room for two friends who were both like, sporty people put a bunch of pendants on one wall above the bed and a bunch of sports posters on a wall above the other bed but first i had a different idea then i fixed it i added a soccer ball some other sports gear and then the pendants and then i added some posters above the other bed one was of a soccer ball one was of a football player one was of the same soccer ball poster but signed one was a cartoon showing a basketball and a hoop one was a runner one was a soccer player one was a of multicolored plum bobs which are like the little diamond things and sims and one was a soccer player like a, like a young soccer player <laughs> all right room number four this okay no okay, wait wait what okay <clears throat> I started the next room. This room I imagine was for a Pokemon lover, like myself, I don't have any posters though, and an aspiring artist. I kept the Pokemon posters in the theme of red slash yellowish, col yellowish 
colors. For the massive painting wall on the other side of the room, I picked out random paintings that I liked. The first painting I picked was of four different colored sloths. The next painting was a three paneled piece that showed a city in black and white. Um, kind of like, um, what is it called? Like San Machino in The Sims. Um, the third painting I picked was a painting of the mountains. The fourth was of a waterfall and a rainbow. The next one was a few pieces of paper that consisted of sketches of like the human form and stuff. Um, the next one was a red spiral of paint over six different like little canvas panels. I then put down a bed that gives me like a lumberjack vibes, you know? And then the next painting was a four panel piece with birds on each panel. The next painting was a five panel piece. I see like a theme here. It's a lot of panels. <laughs> it was a five panel piece with random black and white and brown designs on each panel. The next was an interesting multicolored pattern. The next gave me Marvel comic vibes, if you know what I mean. The next, I think, is of a form of some kind. The next is of a person who's playing what I think is a cello, could be a bass though, I don't know. The next one was a three panel piece with a butterfly on each panel. The next one was a was of a dinner table, apparently. I experimented, experimented with different rugs to find a black circular rug to put underneath the lumberjack bed, and three of said circular rugs to put under the other bed. One of these rugs was white, one was gray, and the other was black. I put down different university club posters in each room and switched out canvases in one room for cat supplies. I also put a bookcase, a table, and a gay pride flag down in two different rooms to fill empty space. Again, this is the laundry room. I replaced the weekly planner with a whiteboard thing and some cute pictures in the first room. I started on building the laundry room. I didn't really have a plan for this room, so it isn't the best. I put a washing machine in the dryer. One, um, the washing machine was red and the dryer was orange. The washing machine, yeah, right, yeah. I put up a you know clothesline and added some shelving that came with a laundry bay pack. I tried different layouts with the shelves and ended up with this. I then made the room a bit smaller to accommodate the clothesline. I tried to add a washing board, an iron board, and a few towels, but they fall out of place, so I removed that. I ended up putting a washing tub, a hamper, a laundry basket, and some laundry detergent under the clothesline. Okay, room number five. This is not much. Okay. <clears throat> when I started the next room, I placed on two beds that were of a light pink color. Next to the bed, next to the bed closest to the door, I put a dog bed and a dog bowl. I imagined this room to be for an aspiring teacher and an aspiring veterinarian. So I put a me pet medicine maker, that's confusing and mouthful, <laughs> a workstation, and a bookcase. I then added trinkets and plants to the bookcase shelves, and then I just, wait, bookcase shelves. I decided to put a mirror above the workstation and some cute dino and cloud slash moon stickers on the wall above the bookcases and the PMM, which means pet medicine maker. I don't know why I call it that, I just don't know the name, so we're just going to call it pet medicine maker. Okay, room number six. I then started the next room. I imagined this room to be for an engineer and a chemist or like biolog biologist type of thing. But first, I added paint to each room, each room's walls in a different shade of red that each room was themed after. For this room, I made it similar to the Pokemon room with color accents of red, orange, and yellow. I made the, be the beds a mix of all three. I then put a matching bedside table in between the two beds. I put a desk in the corner, a dresser a dresser next to that desk, a computer for the desk, and an orange chair to sit on. I also tried to add a rug, but that kind of failed horribly. I made the walls in an orange color and a robot maker thingamajig. Um, then I deleted almost all of that and added a robot maker thing and a chemical ionizer, so I guess it is a chemist. I got rid of I got rid of the ugly rug underneath the beds and found a much better one and put that down. I also put a stack of button up and slash button downs i don't really know i don't yeah i don't really know what they're called also i know it isn't really related to the engineering but i thought it looked nice i realized i forgot for like hampers for all the different rooms and quickly put those i did have to move some things around because the hamper looked kind of cramped and everywhere i could shove it 
look kind of that that doesn't make any sense but you know i just had to move some things with um bb dot move objects um and i then added some dirty laundry on the floor of the story people sporty people room to add to the i don't care about what my room looks like aesthetic you know <laughs> right, room number four or not seven not four <laughs> I then started the last and final room. It's been a long journey of the week and a half that this took me. It took mostly, well, most of it was me putting off finishing the script, so I could hardly count this working. For this room, I imagined two photographers. The color scheme in this room was like a mahogany red, like a deep red color. I put a dresser in two different beds, or two of the same beds, and then put shelves to the ceiling, on the ceiling, uh, Shelves, oh yeah, shelves from like the, like a right above the beds to the ceiling over the two beds, if that makes any sense. You'll see it in like the, the um, visuals. <laughs> my plan was to add like cute and you know, like pictures taken by Sim, but I soon realized that you can't really do that in build mode and that would take a lot of work. And then that would take a lot of work in pictures, so if you download the save when it's finished, of course, you can take the time and add those yourself, because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I know that this room is kind of boring, but I kind of ran out of ideas. I also, I changed the chemist poster and I have multiple science related ones to that room. Yeah, touch up and add-ons. For the touch up and, or add-ons, I added, put down black flooring and tile, black flooring like everywhere, and then tile in the bathrooms. I then finished the outdoor patio and made the hallway walls all a shade of red. Also, I made the walls checkered in the restrooms. I also added a roof and paneling, but I changed it later to match the rest of the building. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Only like 12 minutes of voiceover. I thought I'd speak really fast. I totally forgot about that. Okay, yeah, so that's it. These are just some artsy pictures of each room. Um, you know, like everyone does at the end. Honestly, I really like this. I like the like the um, the idea of having like one kind of like color scheme of like one color but different shades, and then kind of just like making a bunch of different little rooms instead of like making like a bunch of bedrooms because i did definitely need to get better at bedrooms i always made them always very boring and yeah so i think it looks really nice and yeah well tell me if you like voiceover um and if you want me to do it again if you did well then please like the video or you cannot if you don't want to i don't really care um if you want me to continue the series which i am going to no matter what your, your opinion is because i think it's really fun and it's kind of just me doing this and then posting it on youtube so in case people want an interesting worlds, um, then they can have them. Um, so yeah, please subscribe or comment or just whatever you want. Um, as long as this did take me, I did really like explaining my thought process while building. Thank you so much for watching and peace.